I'm Amy Holmes bringing you today's hot list at TheBlaze.com. Last week, a video of a mother and her seven-year-old daughter on a Philadelphia bus went viral after it was posted on Facebook. Now I have to warn you that the content is very disturbing. The mother appears to be in a heroin-induced stupor as her tiny daughter attempts to hold her mother's head up. The Philadelphia Police Department Special Victims Unit and Department of Human Services are each investigating the incident. But the question is, why didn't anyone try to help the little girl or her mother? Not a single call was made to 911. John Warren, the man who filmed the incident and posted it, claims that he told the driver about the situation on board, but that the little girl had pulled her mother off the bus when it came to their stop. This collective passivity is called the bystander effect, and it spreads like a virus through a group of onlookers. No one in the group steps forward to take responsibility because, well, no one has. And the greater number of witnesses, the less likely that help will come. Back in 2009, a 15-year-old California girl was viciously gang raped and beaten outside of a high school homecoming dance for nearly two hours as students watched and some even participated. Others took pictures of the attack, much like the man on the Philadelphia bus. Their behavior was either apathy to not get involved and not call us, to sit there and observe it, or in some cases to get involved and commit crimes. The bystander effect can even strike a hospital setting when too many doctors are treating a patient. The New England Journal of Medicine published a case last year detailing how one 32-year-old patient at the Yale New Haven Hospital actually got sicker because each of his doctors kept handing off responsibility. The doctors admitted that they failed to identify the man's disease quickly because no one single doctor felt personal ownership of his treatment. So how to break the fever that can spread through a crowd and render them passive? Well, knowing about the phenomenon is a good first step and knowing that you have to take responsibility even when, especially when, no one else will. Last week in Daytona, Florida, bystanders Tim Tessiner, his wife, and a second man, Stacy Robinson, they did the right thing when they spotted a woman driving her van into the ocean with her three children trapped inside. They stopped the tragedy unfolding before their very eyes. Authorities tell us that if we see something, say something. Well, that doesn't just apply to unattended packages, it applies to people too, including a seven-year-old girl on a city bus. I'm Amy Holmes reporting to you from the Blaze Newsroom in New York City.